Today, we'll learn how a DBA at a fictional company uses IBM Query Monitor and Optum Query Workload Tuner to improve customer satisfaction and reduce costs by quickly identifying and tuning SQL performance problems. Let's visit the Great Outdoors Company, an online retailer selling sport and outdoor products. To uphold their commitment to customer satisfaction, they set the service level agreement for the online ordering response time to be no more than 30 seconds. Jackie, the DBA, decides to use IBM Query Monitor to monitor performance of the online ordering application. She sets threshold alerts for the database associated with this application. The selected alerts include elapsed time as well as large number of pages read. One day while in a meeting, Jackie receives emails from Query Monitor alerting her to some threshold violations on the monitored database. Jackie logs on to the Query Monitor client to investigate. On the alert browser, there are several alert messages of SQL events triggered by the thresholds that have been defined in the monitoring profile. The first alert's description indicates that an SQL statement has exceeded a get page threshold. Details show that the total get pages were more than 150,000, which exceeded the 100,000 page threshold defined. Jackie notes the associated user ID for the problem SQL and then clicks on the text tab to see the statement itself. There is an option to launch to Optum Query Tuner, an integrated tool for single query tuning. Jackie wants to look at other alerts to see if they are related to the same application workload. When there are multiple alerts triggered for a single SQL event, Query Monitor can help determine the root cause of the problem then correlate and combine these alerts into a single group. Jackie can skip these subsumed messages and get to the SQL statement that caused this sequence of alerts. In this example, the root cause alert indicates that an SQL statement has exceeded the elapsed time threshold. Details show that the elapsed time is 59 seconds, which exceeded the 30 second threshold defined. Again, Jackie notes the same user executing this SQL and gets to the offending statement text. She continues to analyze the other alerts and sees that these problem SQLs are executed by the same user. Rather than tuning these individual problem SQLs, Jackie decides to use Query Workload Tuner to tune the entire workload. She does this because Query Workload Tuner takes into account all the queries and generates consolidated recommendations that balance all the costs, resources, constraints, and weighted improvements across the workload. There are four basic steps in the query workload tuning process. First, capture a query workload containing SQL statements for analysis and tuning. Second, schedule and explain to collect statistics information for all SQL statements in the workload. Third, Invoke the workload advisors for analysis and recommendations on performance improvement. Finally, review recommendations, tune the workload using generated scripts, and revise the SQL statements based on the recommendations. All these steps are made easy with Query Tuner Workflow Assistant in the new interface of the Optum Query Workload Tuner product. Let's see how Jackie uses Optum Query Workload Tuner to analyze and tune the problem SQL workload. First, from a Query Tuner project which has been connected to the monitored database, Jackie creates a new Query Workload group for tuning. The Query Tuner Workflow Assistant is where you capture and analyze the statements that need to be tuned. Different tuning features are grouped into tabs on the left side of the Workflow Assistant. The Workflow Assistant opens some of the sections automatically as you progress from one stage of the tuning process to the next. Or you can open the tab directly to execute the features available in that section. Jackie clicks on the Create Workload icon to create the workload, gives it a name and description. You can create a workload containing SQL statements from various sources such as Dynamic Statement Cache, catalog plan or package, SQL procedure, file, or from tools such as Query Builder QMF. 
In this example, Jackie captures the query workload from the statement cache and filters by the user executing the application which triggered the problem SQLs noted earlier in Query Monitor. Workload Query Tuner provides the option to schedule when to capture the workload. In this example, Jackie specifies the capture to be done immediately after clicking Finish. The new workload is added to the existing workload list. Jackie looks at the statements with detailed runtime metrics and statistics. She sorts the list by the average elapsed time and recognizes at the top the problem queries that she saw earlier in Query Monitor. Next, Jackie runs the explain to capture access path information for the statements in this workload. After the explain task has completed, Jackie runs the Workload Statistics Advisor, which collects a full set of statistics for the objects related to all SQL statements in the workload, and provides a consolidated set of statistics recommendations that apply to the entire workload. Looking into the detailed recommendation, Jackie sees a set of run stats control statements that can be run to improve the performance of the workload as a whole. The detailed report shows statistics information for each of the database objects used in the workload, such as missing, incomplete, obsolete, and conflicting statistics that might lead to suboptimal performance for the SQL statements in the workload. Details of conflicts are also provided for analysis. After analyzing the Workload Statistics Advisor's recommendations and reports, Jackie runs the Run Stats control statements provided. The return code 0 indicates the commands were run successfully. Jackie then runs the explain again to gather new access path information for the statements in the workload based on the new statistics. After accurate and up-to-date statistics for the workload have been collected, Jackie invokes the Workload Query Advisor, which compares SQL statements with a set of best practices and recommends ways that you might rewrite SQL statements in the workload to improve performance. She also chooses Workload Index Advisor, which considers all SQL statements in the query workload and looks for ways to improve the performance of the workload or reduce the amount of disk space used by indexes on the data server. Looking at the Workload Advisor recommendation summary, Jackie notices that the Statistics Advisor status has been automatically updated from the previous run of Explain. The statistics are current. She drills down to the Workload Query Advisor tab, which shows the summary of the analyzed queries in the workload. She then drills down to the statements with the highest severity warnings and starts the analysis by looking at the recommendations for the query statement with the highest execution count and elapsed time. There are four recommendations for this query, with exclude options to tell the query advisor to ignore any of these rules when analyzing the workload for recommendations. The first recommendation points out no join predicate exists for the two identified tables and suggests adding join predicates to avoid costly Cartesian joins. Detailed explanations are provided. The second recommendation points out there is a referential constraint between two identified tables but there is no join predicate and suggests adding join predicates with details of the columns to be used. The third recommendation is similar to the second recommendation. The fourth recommendation suggests rewriting the predicate to filter out unqualified rows earlier with detailed explanations and examples. Jackie continues to analyze recommendations for other queries and then moves on to the Workload Index Advisor recommendations. The top of the Workload Index Advisor tab shows 9% as the total estimated performance improvement for the entire workload and 29 megabytes of disk space required if all the recommended indexes are created. The recommendation shows the list of indexes needed with estimated performance improvement and disk space for each of the recommended indexes. Jackie looks at the generated DDL script and has the option to run the script to create these indexes now or save them for later execution. 
The Workload Index Advisor also shows the list of existing indexes related to all the tables referenced in the workload, with indicators whether these indexes were used by statements in the captured workload. For any index used, Jackie can drill down to see what query statements use this index. The Workload Index Advisor also shows the list of indexes needed by the optimizer but not recommended by the advisor, with brief codes for reasons not recommended. In this example, these candidate indexes are not recommended because the estimated performance improvement is less than the benefit threshold defined in the candidate indexes option for the Workload Index Advisor. Other options can also be defined for the Workload Index Advisor as well as for the Statistics and Query Advisors. These options are considered by the advisors to balance all the costs, resources, constraints, and weighted improvements when analyzing and generating recommendations for the workload. Based on the recommendation from Query Workload Tuner, Jackie works with Roslyn, the application developer, to modify the problem queries and create new indexes. They are extremely happy to see that the application performance improves from these changes. IBM DB2 Query Monitor gives you the ability to efficiently customize and analyze your SQL workload and DB2 objects to quickly identify the source of problem SQL. The tool offers you extensive choices so you can determine what monitoring information you will gather and when. User-defined settings trigger warnings when a threshold is crossed, helping avoid unnecessary repair costs. Troubleshooting costs can be reduced by Query Monitor's capability of finding the cause of delays in SQL queries in real time. Using DB2 Query Monitor, you can pinpoint activity important to your business, enabling you to spot potential problems and take steps to resolve these problems quickly. With its intuitive and iterative tuning interface, IBM Optum Query Tuner and Optum Query Workload Tuner for ZOS can help DBAs and developers maximize application performance with expert advisors and tools while increasing customer satisfaction, productivity, and quality of service. Using Optum Query Tuner and Optum Query Workload Tuner, you can reduce the total costs of ownership for DB2 for ZOS servers by speeding up query analysis and tuning, reducing specialized skill requirements, and optimizing system availability, use of hardware, software, and human resources. To find more information about IBM Query Monitor, Optum Query Tuner, and Optum Query Workload Tuner, or how other integrated data management solutions can help you manage the data and database application lifecycle environment, click on the available resources shown here.